Hello and welcome to Fidelity's Green Pod, where we bring you a series of audio casts highlighting the latest thinking and insights on sustainable investing and ESG issues, where ESG stands for environmental, social, and governance. I'm Christopher Wong, Client Portfolio Strategist, Southeast Asia at Fidelity. In this episode on the crisis and opportunity in recycling single-use plastics, we investigate how recycling single-use plastic not only alleviates the environmental crisis, but also presents an investment opportunity as businesses search for successful recycling solutions or alternatives to plastic. Almost 85% of all single-use plastics are made from five types of plastic polymers. Production of the Big Five is forecast to continue rising, meaning global environmental imperatives and investment opportunities will depend greatly on the success of plastic recycling and alternative plastic solutions. In 1950, global plastic consumption totaled 2 million tonnes. This has increased 200-fold to 406 million tonnes per year as of 2019, according to Plastics Europe. From an environmental perspective, the single-use plastics commonly used in packaging are a major concern, and usage is forecasted to grow at 3 to 4% per annum between 2019 to 2030, similar to growth rates in the previous two decades. But in absolute terms, the magnitude of increase is much greater now due to the high base effect. For example, in the decade through 2030, the total production of five top polymers is expected to be 2.43 billion tonnes, more than during the 15-year period through 2019. Hence, while plastic has many benefits owing to its low cost, versatile, durable, and lightweight nature, it is also problematic because the way it is currently used is unsustainable and wasteful. This represents a crisis and an opportunity. Currently, only 24% of all global packaging waste is being recycled. Of the remainder, around 61% is sent to landfills or incinerated, where it releases high levels of methane gas and CO2, contributing to global warming. The remaining 39% represents leaked or littered waste which can often be found degrading natural systems such as forests and oceans. If no action is taken, by some estimates there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish by 2050. As a result of all these trends, we estimate that circular packaging solutions or those relying on recyclable or compostable input materials will grow at a consolidated annual rate of 24% over the three decades to 2050, rising from 8 million to 84 million tonnes per year. With this huge investment opportunity, it is important for investors to be able to identify the key technologies and the companies that will gain first mover advantage and profitably scale. By using fundamental, bottom-up stock selection Fidelity seeks to identify and invest in the innovators that will be helping to drive a step change in the plastic planet crisis. Thank you for listening to Fidelity Green Pod and stay tuned for our next episode. For more sustainable investing insights, visit fidelity.com.sg. Investment involves risks. Please seek advice from a financial advisor This advertisement has not been reviewed by the Monetary Authority of Singapore, FIL Investment Management Singapore Limited.